Hey guys, so one of the questions I've been getting a lot is between Express and NordVPN, which one's easiest for someone who's brand new to VPNs? Is one easier to use, even if you're familiar with VPNs as well? So that's really what I wanted to focus on this video is, is kind of the interface, the usability, what are the differences between the two, and just show you side by side so you can really see uh, which one, you know, there might be one you prefer over the other. Uh, of course, I will put links to both of these down in the description and any of the best coupons, discounts, and so forth that I can get for you guys, um, I'll include those down there as well. So let's start with, Exp here's Express on the left and we got Nord on the right. So just so you can kind of see them side by side. Now what happens is basically uh, when you click on your uh, VPN, this is what it looks like. Now in, in both situations, it doesn't automatically connect. You'll need to either click this button here to connect or click this little uh, quick connect button here will connect you to Nord. So if I'm brand new to VPNs, I'm thinking Express is a little bit easier. To me, it's a little more obvious like, oh, I see this red ring, big button, looks like a power button, says not connected. Let me click that and now I'm gonna connect <laughs> versus with Nord, I'm brand new to a VPN. I see quick connect. So I'm like, maybe I push that, you know, I'm just, just to show you kind of the intuitiveness of the two of these. Now, obviously once you know how to connect, this isn't a big deal, but I've, I kind of see this theme or trend with express versus Nord as we continue. So, um, but, uh, just to kind of show you the, as far as from a connection standpoint, and then I'll disconnect here, you'll just click quick connect over here and then Nord will connect like that. So yeah, that's kind of uh, from a connection standpoint how this works. Now you will notice as far as with Nord, I'm kind of reducing it down as much as possible. And you kind of always have this map view, which you can um, zoom out here if you like. The idea is you're kind of seeing you know, where you're connected, this, uh, where the servers are, what countries um, have servers. So this doesn't mean there's just one server in the United States. It's, it's letting you know this is um, where uh, there are at least one server, you know, potentially many, many more. So uh, that's the basics of just connecting. Now let's go back to, let me go ahead and I'll disconnect here for a moment. Okay, so with Express, they have their menu, kind of the hamburger icon up here. Uh, I'm gonna click on that. Here we can click on VPN locations, and now we can see a list of all of the server locations. So in the United States, as an example, we can click the down arrow and see what we have here. Now, one thing that's interesting, this is recommended. So we have a recommended tab. Now we also have an all tab. So now if we click the United States, we see we there's a lot more. So that's one thing where that's to me not as obvious, uh, again, if you're brand new to um, VPNs, but that's just something to you know be aware of if you're considering these two, that's how these work. Uh, you have the recommended, so these are gonna be probably the servers you'd wanna start with first. So it's both a pro and a con. It's a pro in the sense, if you're brand new to VPNs, it's nice just to focus on, okay, what are the best, what are the best servers? I don't need, you know, 50. Just show me the handful that I'm probably gonna wanna connect to. And depending on, you know, whether you're in the East Coast, West Coast, or, you know, middle, mid, mid US here, you know, there's kind of a server for you. And then you do have the option to go ahead and find other servers if you want. But I do like that idea. I think that's nice. So let's go ahead and check out um, NordVPN. Here we have their little menu there, just so you can see how that, that looks. Oops, I'm trying to, yeah, close that down. Okay, so now let me expand this so we can see a little bit more here. Okay, so now we have our country list. So if I wanna go to the United States, I can scroll down and here we go, United States. Uh, click this little arrow here. And here we have our regions. So this is a little bit different. We have it by region. And so that's kind of nice. And then we have all the servers and they have a lot of servers as you can see. So is this any easier, more, you know, so here's my thought. If you're brand new to, to VPNs, I think this is a little more complex, a little more like, mm, I don't know what the word is, a little more to, to navigate. But the advantage is you have a lot of options. So I think for someone who is a little more familiar with VPNs, uh, wants more options, this might be nice. But if you're someone who's like, hey, I don't necessarily need a lot of options. I just want a VPN that works really well you know, that's where I'd go back to Express. Here in the States, Express is still the fastest. Um, overall, I think a little bit easier to use. If you're in Europe, uh, Nord is actually outpacing Express by a little bit in some instances. Um, 
it's still close, but if you're in Europe and you want the fastest VPN, you may want to go with Nord right now. Um, you know, that could change in another, you know, several months or year. Who knows? But they're usually usually close. I don't I don't think it, you're, you're, it's going to be a, a good choice either way. You really can't go wrong. But uh, so, again, from finding servers, that's, you know, kind of how that works. Um, I'm going to give the nod to ExpressVPN as far as being a little bit easier. Uh, and here, let me, let me show you this too. So uh, let's say you have your favorite. You can click on that little star. Whoops. Click on the little star. There we go. And now you have your, uh, it's saved as a favorite here. So this is the one thing I don't like is you have this tab that says recent. And then your favorites are here on the recent. So it's almost like they need another tab or, again, that's something you kind of learn and figure out. But uh, uh, I think that could be a little bit uh, better. So um, here we'll click on the little heart. And now we have, uh, you know, that's now saved as one of our favorites for Nord. So now to Nord's credit, I kind of like that because your favorite is right here, shows up. So that's kind of nice. But again, I think it's just, as far as when I'm looking at this, it's just visually kind of a lot more to take in. And I think if you're again newer to VPNs, you're looking at, looking at all this going, oh, wow, that's a lot. What do I, you know, which one do I click and connect? And again, Express kind of hides that a little bit more and just keeps it very focused on, okay, you want to, you know, you can just connect or you can find your your um, server and it's a little bit easier. So eh, again, I'm going to give the nod to Express. But again, the point behind this is so that you can visually kind of see and might be like, no, and I disagree. I actually like Nord. And that's the point. You know, uh, you may actually like the way Nord is, is handling um, the interface for uh, one or more of these uh, kind of situations. Now, something Express does that um, Nord doesn't do is it does a speed test. Now, to, you have to uh, not be connected in order to run the test. But the nice thing is, and this is, this is a really pretty cool thing, is it will run a speed test on all its servers. And then it gives you kind of a report. It'll show you the latency and download speed. So if, if you're wanting to use your VPN for gaming, this is really cool. Uh, you automatically know which one's going to give you the lowest latency, the lowest ping. Uh, and you're not having to test server after server to see, well, I wonder if the next one's faster. I wonder if the next one's faster. This one's pretty good, but is the next one faster? You just know automatically, um, especially if you're trying to connect to a, a specific region. Uh, maybe there's some loot you're trying to get access to that you can't get access to in your region. So you want to know, okay, which, um, or maybe you're just trying to, yeah, play and uh, maybe some sort of, uh, yeah, first, especially if it's a first person type of a game uh, where that latency is important. You may be playing a game where, yeah, if you're just trying to get loot, latency is maybe not such a big deal. Anyway, download speed as well. So let's say you're trying to stream Netflix or Torrent or, you know, whatever. You just want the fastest speed possible. That's really nice to know which server. A lot of times it's the one closest to you, but not always the case. And sometimes that may change from time to time. So it's nice just to be able to run a speed test and see if anything's changed on their servers so that you're always knowing that you're using the fastest. Uh, so again, this is uh, yeah really cool. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, again, Nord doesn't, doesn't have that. Then we got our kind of preferences. This is where we can kind of scroll through here and... Um, see the different protocols that you can connect to. I uh, usually want this to be on automatic and they're both good about that, kind of having an uh, automatic protocol. Um, you know, again, this is something both uh, Nord and Express do here. Let me close out of this one. So here's a Nord's, you know, and kind of see their preferences. Um, general, if you want, so to clarify, when I was loading these earlier, I was saying how you have to click the, the power button. You can do an auto auto launch when the computer starts. So that's another option. Uh, CyberSec that blocks ad and malware and so forth. So this is where you just go through to, you know, make your make your preferences. Uh, exactly is exactly what this is. Preferences for uh, you know appearance and, and so forth. So uh, I'd say they're both similar in that regard. Um, now. One thing to, to Nord's credit here, if you like this kind of idea of, of a map, this sort of visual to kind of see where all these servers are, I think that's kind of fun and cool. You know, for example, you don't remember uh, which country this is, but you want to connect to the server. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah, that's Iceland. There we go. OK, you can just click on it, you know, or, you know, you want a server over here, but you're not sure which country it is. Um, you know, that, that could be an advantage, I suppose, but just visually. Um, it, you know, maybe it's kind of helpful to actually see where all these server locations are. So let's say you, I don't know, you're, you're here in Africa and you wanted to connect to a server. You're like, well, let's see which one's closest. You know, there's this one down here, uh, in South Africa, I connect, I could connect to, 
or there's this one up here in uh, Israel I could connect to. You know, so that's where that could maybe be an advantage. So I want to call that out as well. Um, or visually, you just might think that this is cool and fun. I love the idea of this map. I know um, several people that is the case. It just like this. This is kind of like, oh, it's nice. It's, it's kind of boring. This is just kind of cool. It looks cool. So there you have it. Both both get the job done. Uh, both have a great interface in terms of really, I would say both of these are suited for uh, being beginner friendly, good for newbies, good for someone who's never used um, a VPN before. But I would say I would give the nod to ExpressVPN. You know, if I if I had someone who had never used a VPN before, isn't necessarily tech savvy, and they're not not wanting to do anything fancy, you know, with their VPN, it's just, hey, I want either, you know, be anonymous, I want to be able to connect, you know, I'm protected, um, maybe just want to use it for torrenting, but I, I don't I don't want it to be complicated. I just want to kind of click a button and know I'm taken care of. That's where um, uh, Express, I would say, has the advantage. But again, you can't go wrong with either of them. Both great VPNs. Um, there's certainly some pros and cons to each of them. Um, but generally, uh, again, just just really, really uh, solid VPNs here. So again, I'll put links to both of these down in the description. So feel free to take advantage of uh, that. I'll include, as I said before, if there's any of the best deals, coupon codes that so far I can get for you guys, as always, I'll put those down below as well. So feel free to check those out. And if you have any questions um, about either these v- uh, VPNs, if there's other uh, f- areas of focus you want me to talk about, feel free. Uh, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll be happy to address those as well. But otherwise, uh, otherwise, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Really appreciate your time. And uh, if this was helpful, again, leave a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.